Hi guys, Grant from beyondbeaver.com where I teach you how to build websites ridiculously fast. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys this website that I just built. Uh, I designed the logo and it's a square shape so it fits quite nicely uh, on his car doors, uh, his toolboxes, so all those sort of things. But for the website, as you scroll down, obviously when that scales down with the Beaver Builders themes uh, fixed header, it gets quite small. So what I've done is for the, uh, for the default header, it is a square shape. But as you scroll down and the fixed header comes into place, it turns into a horizontal logo. So they're actually two different images and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how you can change it. Now, one thing that I wanna point out is that this will only work with the fixed header with the fade in effect. So in the Beaver Builder theme, if you go to the customizer where you edit the theme and you go to header and then header layout, you can see uh, for the fixed header, you can do fade in, which is what we'll be using and works with this effect. So that, you know, you have your header up here and as you scroll down, a second one fades in. And the reason that it only works with this effect is if we view the source code, you'll see that there's actually, there's our default header, but there's a second header that's fixed and shows as we scroll down. So there's two different header elements in the source code uh, and we can actually change the image that's output in this one here. So we can have independently two different images in each header. But with the other ones, so shrink and fixed, they don't create a second um, header here and that's why it doesn't work. They only have the one header. So if we change this to header shrink, Scroll down, you notice the logo scales down. That's just some CSS3 uh, transition effects and scaling. So it's actually one header element, but we're using CSS to scale it down. So because it's only one element, we can't actually change the image that's in there. And fixed again, that just stays in place. So that's why we can only use a fade in effect because it creates two different header elements and we can change the image that's in one. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Okay, so to do that, I've logged in to my cPanel for my testing website. And I'm just gonna to navigate to the public HTML, WP content and our themes folder. So in here is my child theme. My child theme is called ODW and here's the Beaver Builder parent theme. Now, worth noting is that if we look at the source code of this, this is our header. So you can see FL hyphen page hyphen header, but there's also another one up here as well. I'll just zoom in for you guys. So there's that one FL hyphen page hyphen header. And there's another one, fl hyphen page hyphen header. What is cool is that, so there's two different headers here, but the one that shows by default is fl hyphen page hyphen header hyphen primary as the header class. And up here, it's the same, but instead of primary, it has fixed. Now, if we look at this fixed one, we can see over here that it's display none. So what happens is as we scroll down, you'll notice that changes to display block and now it's up the top. And now this one is still at the top, but we can't see it. And this one has changed from not showing. So display none, if we scroll back up, display none to display block. So that's how it works. But the most important thing here is to, there's two things that you need to um, be conscious about. There's actually two different header elements on the page. Uh, and this one shows as you scroll down and it's hidden by default. What's even better is there's actually a separate PHP file for this fixed header. So let's go into the Beaver Builder parent theme and then inside the includes folder. And you'll see fixed hyphen header.php. So uh, that's the one that comes in to scroll. So as we scroll this one here, so if we inspect the code of this fixed hyphen header.php, 
you can see, so it's the header element, so everything inside this header element with the FL page header fix. So that PHP file outputs everything here. And this one over here, FL page header primary, you can see FL page nav right. If we go back to our parent theme and go down, you'll see hyphen right and if we edit that FL page header primary and this here is just responsible for outputting the FL page header right so this here all this header here is responsible for the default and then our fixed header is output by our fixed header dot PHP file so I'll just go back to our theme. So we know that our child theme, if a file is in our child theme, it takes precedence over our parent theme. So what we need to do is we need to copy the fixed header.php into our child theme. And then inside this, you'll notice, so the fixed header.php file, you'll notice that this function here actually gets our logo that we add in the customizer. So FL theme logo. If we go back and I'll just log in to our into our demo website, which is this one here, and then click on customize up the top to enter the theme customizer. So uh, if you're using the Beaver Builder theme, you would know that this is how you edit the Beaver Builder theme. You go to header, header logo, and change this to an image. Whatever we add into these boxes this function outputs them as an image. So for instance, this demo is using the nav right layout. So in the nav right layout, we'll leave it so that it does get the logo image from here. But when we scroll down for the fixed header, we want to overwrite that and just output our own image that we upload. So that's what we're going to do. So let's just go ahead and do it. It's only going to take a couple of minutes and I think you'll understand a bit more as we go through this. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to copy the fixed hyphen header.php file to our child theme. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to copy that into my, so your child theme name forward slash includes. Now it's very important to put the includes there. So what this is going to do is it's going to add it's going to create a folder in our child theme called includes and it's going to copy this fixed header.php file. So let's click copy files and we'll go up and we'll go into our child theme. So ODW is my Beaver Builder child theme and then includes and you'll see there it is fixed hyphen header.php. So let's go ahead and edit that. So code edit if you're in cPanel or FTP. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to upload uh, a logo here. There it is. I'm just going to upload this one. And then I'll upload a retina just because we have it already as well in there. So twice the size. And you can see there it is. So let's click save and publish. Okay, next we need to upload our horizontal logo. So let's click out of the customizer. So let's click out of the customizer. Uh, in our dashboard, we'll just go to media. We're just gonna upload our horizontal version of the logo. Um, obviously yours doesn't have to be horizontal. You could just change it to any different logo that you wanna have um, different for the fixed header. Awesome, so there it is. It's uploaded to our media library. Now what you wanna do is click on the edit icon Output this image by its ID and to get the ID of this image up here in the URL It will say question mark post equals and then the ID So let's just copy that So 1580 so that's the ID in WordPress for this new image Okay, so let's go back to our uh, cPanel or your FTP and we'll go back into our child theme and then back into the includes folder in our child theme 
and we're going to edit the fixed hyphen header.php. So there's the logo that's being output from the customizer. So let's just, inside the PHP tags, we want, to, we want to replace the image of the logo from the customizer with the image that we just uploaded to the media library using its ID. So to do that, you're going to write echo wp underscore get underscore attachment underscore image brackets and then close off the statement and then inside this you want to add the ID of that media so again in the URL in the URL 1580 comma and then full inside quotation marks so this is going to get that image ID and output it at its full size so just make sure when you upload it it's uploaded at the uh, correct size because you're going to want to output it full and then we'll click save changes and then let's go back to our demo website and then let's go back to the front end of our demo website and again let's just scroll down and there it is so it's changed it and that's literally all there is to it and if we inspect the source code of that you'll see that it is in fact our new image that we just uploaded. And it's got all the classes and alt tag. So it's definitely the best way to do it, to use a native WordPress function like we just did and the media library inside the uh, WordPress dashboard. So that's how easy it is to do it. Um, if you ever get stuck and you're wondering how to customize a Beaver Builder theme or any theme in WordPress, uh, and you're using your child theme, go to the parent theme because obviously whatever's being output on the website is coming from the parent theme somewhere. Uh, not everything, but most things that you see on the website will be coming from the parent theme. So go in there, have a look through the files. Uh, includes folders inside themes is quite a common one. Uh, and when you look in there, it, there should be a couple of PHP files. Go through it, even if you're just curious. Always be curious so that you can learn. Curiosity will take you places. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, don't forget, like this video, uh, follow us on Twitter. I'm loving Twitter, doing a lot on Twitter. Uh, Facebook, getting some action in the, uh, in the Facebook page. Uh, thinking of starting a group. If you would like another Facebook group specifically for the sort of content that I'm putting out uh, and some assistance. And I've never really promoted this, but if you guys are wanting to receive more of this content directly, don't forget to subscribe to us on our website. Uh, there's a subscribe where you can get 30 tips over 30 days, which is very popular. Uh, but there's also just a general where I push out uh, new content to it. Uh, it's roughly once a week right now. Uh, but it's, it's not just my content. It's content that's out there for WordPress and Beaver Builder that will really help you guys. So yeah, until next time, thank you.